in this question, we first of all are told that we have three random digits. And remember that there are 10 choices of digit. So what's the probability that we have only one uh, different digit, so one unique digit? Well, that's going to be the number of ways of choosing that one digit from 10. So 10 choose 1 uh, divided by the number of ways of choosing three digits, which is 10 cubed. So that's 10 over uh, 10 cubed, which is 1 over 100. The probability of getting two unique digits is our number of ways of choosing two digits from 10. So 10 choose 2. But then we need to pick one of them to be the double digit. So there's two choices of which of them is the double digit. And then we have to think of how many ways there are of permuting our three digits, which is 3 factorial. But we need to divide then by 2, because uh, the, the double digit uh, can't be permuted with itself. And then divide that by 100. Sorry, by 1,000, which is our, our total number of ways of getting things. So 10 choose 2 times 3 factorial divided by 1,000, and that gives us 27 over 100. Now the probability of three unique digits is going to be just the number of ways of permuting three digits from 10. So 10 permutation 3 divided by our 1,000 ways of getting digits. So 10p3 over 1,000 gives us 18 over 25, uh, which is uh, 72 over 100, so you can see these add up to 1, so that is all good. Part B, if we have four random digits, then our probability of having uh, one unique digit is going to be 10 choose 1. So that's our number of ways of choosing our digit. Uh, and then there's no ways of permuting them. Uh, because they're all the same, and we just divide by 10,000. So that's 1 over 1,000. The probability of two unique digits is going to be the number of ways of choosing those digits. So 10 choose 2. And then we can either have two lots of 2, uh, in which case, how many ways are there of getting those two lots of 2? Um, well, we have, so if there's two lots of two, then when we permute them, there's going to be four factorial over two factorial over, over two times two ways of permuting our, uh, two lots of two. But there's also going to be the possibility that we get a 3 and a 1, in which case uh, we're going to have 4 factorial over 3 factorial times 1 for a 3 and a 1. But then if there's a 3 and a 1, we need to choose which is the 3 and which is the 1. So we need to multiply that by 2. And then we can divide that by 10,000. So what does this give us? 10 choose 2 times 4 factorial over 2 times 2 plus 2 times 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial uh, times 1 and then divide that by 10,000. And this gives us 63 over 1,000 as the ways of getting too unique. Right, so now let's have a look at the probability of getting three unique. Well, we can get 10 choose three to pick out our three digits. But then we're, the only way of getting this is to have uh, one lot of two and two lots of one. So we've got to pick our lot of two. So there's three ways of getting our two. So which is 
the doubled one. And then we need to permute them. So four factorial, but the doubled one uh, has to be, uh, that can't be permuted. So we divide by the permutations of the doubled one. And then we can divide this by our 10,000 possible uh, outcomes. So 10 choose three times three times four factorial divided by two and divide that by 10,000 and we get 54 over 125. So that's the probability of getting three unique. Now what about four unique? The probability of four unique is just the ways of permuting four out of 10. So it's just 10 P four over 10,000. So 10 P four divided by 10,000 is 63 over 125. So now let's just check that these add up to the right thing. So we've got 54 over 125 plus 63 over 125 plus 63 over 1000 plus uh, 1 over 1000. And this adds up to 1, so we can be happy with that.